Richard, uh, you have, of course, famously dealt with both evolution and religion in different uh, in perspectives. And I'd like to get your, your overview thinking on the, putting the two words together. Uh, uh, I'm personally less interested in the pe pedagogical approach of what should be taught in schools because science should be taught. And that, that's, that's a political issue. I'm not so interested in that, but interested in things like the, the, uh, the how religion came about, how, how the tension between evolution and religion seems in most cases today, at least at, at, at the, at the um, at the leadership level of religions have accepted evolution. Um, how do you reflect on this whole process? You've dealt with both for decades. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're asking there. Um, Just uh, asking uh, you to reflect on uh, evolution and, and, and religion. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I think supernatural religion is um, a very interesting scientific theory which is wrong, but it's profoundly interesting in the sense that, or important in the sense that if it, if it were right, it would be a very different kind of world we live in. So I'm not one of those who says, well, it's nothing to do with science. You can believe if you, if you like and, and, and it's, uh -huh. leave me out of it. Right. I mean, it, it is very important scientific theory. If, if there really is some kind of brooding great spirit at the base of mm. the universe, which created everything and supervises everything, then that is a totally different kind of universe mm. from one where there is no such such creature. And so, um, I think it's a, I think it's a scientific question. Uh, doesn't mean you can answer it scientifically necessarily, but I think we can think about it scientifically, and I do so, and have concluded that it's highly unlikely that there is such a great spirit. Um, where it affects my own field of evolutionary biology, of course, is that it's a direct competitor in, in that there are the organized um, religion, Christianity and Islam and Judaism all subscribe to, um, in, in their fundamentalist form, subscribe to a book which proposes a, 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 a myth which is scientifically false. Um, and so to that extent, I have to be involved in controversy because it, it because evolution is true and, and, and we need to educate people about, about it. Uh, many people in those uh, traditions that you refer to now take evolution on board. Sometimes they do it in a theistic way. Sometimes they do it in a, in a, in a way that operates at the quantum level. So there's no interruption of the, of, of the, of the mechanism of the, of the world. Some do it deistically. Um, one person told me, uh, that it's much more difficult for God to have worked through evolution and it's be a much cleverer God to work through evolution because just to say, you know, there's the dinosaur, I, yeah. just created, that, that's easy. If you can yeah. create, you're great. But to do it through evolution, starting with the, the plasma at the Big Bang and going through evolution to get that dinosaur, I mean, that's that, really clever. No, it's pathetic. <laughs> um, it, it's very unimpressive because why on earth would he, choose to use the, the one method where he's not necessary. <laughs> write himself out of, out to of the script. To fool you. <laughs> write himself out of the script. Um, no, I, I, so I, I, um, I, I think there's no support in biology. I think if, there, if there's any support for supernaturalism, and I don't think there is, but if there, were, if there was any, it might come from physics, where, mm. where, where you might say something like the, the fine-tuning of the universe. And mm. I, I don't think that's a good argument, but mm. that, that's better than any biological argument mm. anyway. Um, uh, as religion has come up with these uh, sort of ways to take evolution on board, uh, is, your, is, your, is your feeling mixed? Uh, happy in a sense then because science has taught us science and that you, you don't have that barrier in many cases anymore, um, even though they're saying things that, are, that, that you would think are wrong? Um, well, I'm not sure I'm happy. Uh, um, I'm saying... ha happy that religions at, 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 at their highest level now take evolution on board so they're not opposing the teaching of evolution in schools? Well, I suppose in one way I am, uh, um, it, it, because, yes, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm glad of that, although in America, at least, um, yeah, that's not really 
totally true. Um, no, it's not, certainly not totally true, and it, 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 there's a large percentage that it's not. Nor in the Islamic world. Yes, that's correct. Both are um, correct. And, and um, so there is a, a, a great deal of opposition. Um, and I think that the, uh, the sort of so-called sophisticated theologians who, who accept the scientific worldview don't impress me very much because they, I don't think they've really thought through the yeah. negative impact that that has on their on their um, religious <laughs> worldview. Um, you had mentioned that it's a, a scientific theory that there is a supernatural uh, uh, reality or being, but perhaps cannot be accessed or tested scientifically, but it's a scientific theory. I'd like to parse that a little bit and understand that because I would have thought that it's not a scientific theory and and it is unaccessible by the scientific method, um, which doesn't give it any more reification, but it, it's just, just it, it, it's a, it's a, self, uh, uh, a self-protecting mechanism, yeah, like a yes. moat around a, like a castle. You, you just, you, it, it's, you can't- I see it, what you're saying. Uh, on the other hand, uh, do, you, do you take my point that I made earlier that, that it, it would be a totally different kind of universe? You, you've probably seen that, that cartoon, the great, blackboard full of, full of yeah. formulae and, yeah. and, and, and here a miracle occurs. <laughs> yeah, um, right, right. It, it's, um, <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's, it's both a scientific theory and a betrayal of science. Mm. And, and um, so, but, but, it, but it is a scientific theory in the sense that, as I, as I said, it would be a very different kind of universe if there was, if there was a, a, a creator. It would be, it would be, I mean, all bets would be off then. It would be, it would be a completely different enterprise that we're engaged upon when we try to understand what's going on. Because it wouldn't, ha it could be that, but it wouldn't have to be that. I mean, God no, could but have done you, it. The, 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 you'd be totally free to say at any moment, yes, God yes, could just yes, intervene. Of course, and, of course, and, and, of course. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's not terribly coherent. No. Hmm. 